Andre, you're here in Ireland. You know, how are you liking it here so far? That's fine, I guess. I just didn't see anything, but yeah, nice people. I think everything good so far. And obviously, you know, uh, we got you know the news broke that uh, since uh, Stipe Miocic was injured, he's now going to fight you instead. When and how did you find out about this? UFC posted, so I find out. What was your reaction? It's a great fight for me. And did you see, uh, obviously, Ben Rothwell, he called you out uh, just a little bit before that, wanted to uh, avenge his loss to you. What was your reaction to that? Did you see that first? Fight of Ben Ra Rothwell again? Yeah, yeah. So it's totally up to you. If, if you so decide to put me against Ben Rothwell, I'm going to fight Ben. Some people were a little bit surprised that, you know, uh, Stipe Miocic was injured and he gets to fight you. I mean, I think that's why maybe Ben Rothwell will challenge you. He felt like he's good to go. He wants to fight directly. Were you surprised that the UFC decided to put you against Stipe Miocic? Absolutely not. And I, just wanna, I just wanna fight as soon as possible. I mean like as often as possible and as soon as possible. And uh, I think it's a great fight for me. He's number three I believe right now, so this is great. Uh, no, not in his case. I don't think he was All right, well, you know, looking at Stipe as an opponent, what do you feel his strengths and weaknesses are? Uh, he's tough. He's a well-rounded fighter, great uh, hands, and uh, it's going to be a tough fight for me. When does camp start, or has it started already? Huh? When does camp start? Uh, next week. Next week, okay. I already kind of start my camp here. I, I do some stuff like running, uh, shadow box, and all the stuff, just to be ready for, for my main camp. And, uh, you know, uh, looking at Miocic, uh, like you said, he's a very tough guy, but what do you feel are his weaknesses, if there are any? You know, what, uh, what I saw, uh, I can't answer right now on this question, but uh, when I'm going to be in Albuquerque, I'm going to sit out with my coaches and uh, we're going to find out some weaknesses. And obviously with a win over Stipe, where do you think that puts you in the mix then? Totally up to UFC. Okay. I, 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 they promised me uh, many times already to next fight for the title. I, honestly, I don't really care. I'm like other heavyweights can be in the line and uh, earn that uh, possibility to fight for the title. And uh, doesn't matter. It's just going to be another fight. So obviously you've been champ before, heavyweight champ before. Then you kind of went through a bit of a crossroads in your. It was a while ago, and I don't, I, I don't live with the past. You know, I'm looking, okay. I live in the present. I'm looking forward to in the future. So forget about that. I was a champion. Doesn't, that doesn't matter at this time. So. I was going to say. I mean, how did you feel? You kind of proved a lot of people wrong. Do you feel like that at all? And I don't care about what people says, and I don't need to prove, prove anyone. I am who I am, and uh, fuck everybody who said, well, I got Arlovsky done, and Arlovsky should quit this and that. I don't care. I just do my job, and uh, I wish at this time I was like a little bit younger, but at age 36, I still, still have a lot of energy. I still have fire in my eyes, and uh, right people, right... Uh, right uh, coaches around me, right teammates, right plate for the camps. My, my family support me 100%. I just ready to go like Nike just do it. One of the best fights of the year to date is still your bout with Travis Brown. You know, people have called it one of the best heavyweight bouts in UFC history. And, you know, it was such a wild fight, so back and forward, so crazy. You know, how many times have you seen that fight since it happened? And, you know, how do you feel about it? Oh, I'm totally happy about that fight. Only one thing I'm not happy. I asked uh, Athletic Commission to put gel on my hair, and they didn't let me put uh, gel. It, 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 it was like a, it looks like a nest was in my head. So, but, uh, as but why wouldn't they let you put gel? I don't know because like gel might go in Travis' eyes, this and that. So I guess from a health point they didn't let me. But it's okay. <laughs> That's why I decided no, no more experiment with my hair. So. So I, I, but if if be serious, of course, I'm really happy uh, how fight went and um, and um, we did a good job with my camp and it was a great camp. It was about I believe at that time it was about uh, 13 weeks and uh, we did everything right. We've got obviously the Doom versus Velasquez coming up soon. Well, obviously we haven't had a date yet, but um, obviously you're going to be looking closely at that card. What's your prediction for that? Uh, I don't know, it's going to be a tough fight, and uh, when I saw first time when Velasquez fought Verdum, I thought uh, Velasquez is going to beat him, but unfortunately it didn't happen, and, uh, and uh, we have uh, heavy champion right now, it's Verdum, and uh, I, of course I would love to fight him. Uh, 
I'm not sure if they're going to fight even in March. You know, we're doing all the time pull the fights. They're supposed to fight when? In December, January. Now it's March. I'm not sure if they're going to fight in March. So uh, I, don't, I don't really care. I just want to, I'm just care about my own business. I just want to, like I said earlier, I want to fight as often as possible. And obviously you've had a win over Vadum before in the past. So um, how do you think it would go this time around? If, I, if I'm going to fight Vadum? Uh, first of all, it's going to be interesting fight for UFC. I think we have some history already between me and Verdum, and uh, uh, we'll see. And how much do you feel you've developed as a fighter since your guys' first fight? He? Uh, after that fight, I, I had a good time. I had a bad time in my career, but uh, I'm right now feel that I'm on the right track and. Uh, like I said, with the right people and uh, ready to go. And definitely Verdum is getting better and better uh, since when I uh, first time fought him. Uh, he's kind of unbelievable for his age. Uh, we're pretty much in the same age category. He's uh, his, his tough, I'm no doubt. He's, he's tough and he's good. Some and people he's a champion right now. It doesn't matter what people say, what, what people think about. He's a champion, it's a fact. Some people were a little bit surprised that Cain Velasquez was given a title shot directly, despite the fact that it was beaten, you know, pretty convincingly. You know, it wasn't like a split decision; it was, you know, a, a pretty clear-cut submission. Did you feel that it was deserved to give him another title shot directly? I think in, uh, who run UFC are not stupid; they're smart people. So I guess this is uh, this, this rematch makes sense for UFC. So that's why they they gave uh, rematch right away to Velasquez. So I just. It's, it's, it's a big company and they know what they're doing. We've got uh, Junior De Santos uh, versus Overeem coming up. What's your prediction for that fight? Uh, it's going to be an interesting fight for me. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Huh? Can you pick a winner? Do you see, who do you see coming up victorious? Uh, Overeem, he's my teammate, but uh, Junior De Santos, he's number one, number two right now. and uh, Number two right now. and. Uh, uh, I said it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a tough fight. Very interesting fight, and uh, honestly, I'm, uh, I'm really, I'm uh, kind of scared to make a prediction, you know. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, we, Ben Ross will beat over him, but over him, like uh, he destroyed us, his opponent. He's like his knees are be unbelievable. His uh, hands heavy and quick, so it's going to be a good fight. So, so Junior DeSantis, his boxing unbelievable. So we'll see.